I'm Tony Pellegrino from Gen Right Off Road, and we're back here with our over the top JK build. And today I have the fortune of Warren from the Brake Man joining me here. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about his brakes and what we've learned. This is the exact same brakes that we run over on our race car for King of the Hammers and Ultra 4. And uh, Warren, tell us a little bit about this stuff. This is really good stuff. Well, we've uh, spent 47 years learning, so we hope we've uh, managed to pick up something along the way. The parts you see here are the result of understanding the problems the racer, racers have had for many years. And what we've done is the biggest single cause of failure in a brake system in a car is due to the caliper. The reason being is that the calipers have a tendency to flex, and that flex is causing a loss of both braking performance and clamping force. It's causing tapered pad wear. And we've developed a caliper that has got six times the modulus of rigidity of a conventional caliper. Since our caliper doesn't drag all the time, we're not putting as much heat into the rotor. And if we don't, as we all know in racing, rotating weight is the most critical weight. That's right. Car. Okay, so first off, let's talk about some of this flex and, and what you're referring to inside here. This is 4340, I think you said? 4340 high nickel alloy steel combined with um, the same forged aluminum that you would use in an aluminum piston which is specifically designed to handle high temperatures. Whereas most people use materials that are designed for aerospace, which is what? Cold. So consequently, this material has a tendency to degrade less at temperature than most aluminum, so it's actually much stronger under actual operating conditions. Right, just a second ago you were telling me about how aluminum gets softer as it gets hot and right. steel gets stiffer as it gets hot. Exactly. So you put steel inserts in the exact right location to keep this thing from spreading apart. Our wishbone is steel, the rest of the caliper is aluminum. And, and that keeps the thing from spreading out, wearing the pads funny, creating all kinds of other issues right. that are, are common in other brake manufacturers. Exactly. Okay. But even more important than that is brake fluid uh, flow in the caliper. Okay. In any opposed piston caliper, you always have a problem in letting the fluid on one side and they have this little tiny little tube to take it to the other side. Well, in our caliper, we've designed and patented a system where we have dual transfer tubes. They are twice as big. Instead of an eighth of an inch internally, they're a quarter inch, which feeds the fluid at least eight times faster to the outboard pistons and releases at least eight times faster. Okay. So the driver feels a much more immediate response to his pedal input. And obviously, it's more even all the exactly. way around. So one side's not doing more work than the other. Exactly. Okay. Although there are, has been many attempts to get a zero drag caliper, in fact, back in Air, at Earhart in uh, about 1965, the Earharts patented a retractor system for aircraft brakes. And it was a ring and a series of Belleville washers that would collapse and pull the piston back. Well, unfortunately, um, and in fact, it's even being copied today by other people. But the, it's not a, a solution because even the Belleville Springs oftentimes cannot overcome the amount that the caliper actually opens up when it gets hot. I've seen calipers that will easily open up an eighth of an inch, and there's nothing you're going to do to the piston to overcome a caliper opening up an eighth of an inch because what's going to happen, it's going to clamp back down on the rotor. And when it does, you're still going to have drag. Drag. So with these fluid, uh, with the fluid in the pistons, the strength of the housing, this caliper at a thousand pounds of line pressure, fully heat soaked, is ten thousands. So which, it's no problem. Which to a driver is huge. That means the pedal is consistent. Exactly. So that way, all day when you're out racing, um, that's that's really important. And, and in something like this, you know, th this is again, this is over the top. So it's got a lot of cool factor, a lot of bling, um, but it's the best stuff. We're we're moving that stuff from the race car into something that everybody can drive and um, it's a great example they the brake man also makes smaller upgrade kits where you can apply what they call their thunderstorm kit on your jk which is a new caliper pads and a rotor which is all has a lot of this special process done to it too exactly. so the next thing i want to talk about if we can sure um, is i want to talk about the wave rotors right so the wave rotors came out a long time ago, a lot of people have done them, but um, you've really perfected this. And what I did is I figured out a way to cut the height to width ratio down and then spend a four day thermal process treating the material to de-stress it and get rid of all that stress. And then what I do is I blanch or grind it back flat, sell you a brand new used rotor. So in layman's terms, when, when you heat a piece of metal, it's gonna potato chip, for lack of a better description. So what he does, he starts out with a thicker piece and then it goes through a double disc grinding process where it makes it perfectly flat again.
after several heat cycles, in this case, four days. So this way, when the piece of material gets back on the, a car, or in this case, a very high performance car or a race car, um, and you start putting this thing through the kind of massive heat cycles we do, it's not going to warp again. It's gonna stay consistent. We're gonna have better wear. Um, in this case, he's also done a lot of work to this to keep it light. Okay, so the next thing I wanna point out is we grabbed our digital scale. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you have already assumed that this would be much lighter than this, which I can barely lift up. You're looking at almost 40 pounds for a stock setup versus what we just said? 11 pounds. 11 pounds. Six and five. So these are all super important things. The kinds of things that Warren has engineered into his product to make sure that over thousands of miles in something like a race car, this stuff's gonna hold up and have really good wear characteristics.